Happy Friday. Welcome to Knee of the Curve, the point of most extreme change. I'm Emmett Short. Google's DeepMind AI has had a breakthrough in its quest to solve fusion, which could mean unlimited, free, clean energy for the planet. Let's see how the stock market is reacting to this. Tanking. Still tanking. Nuclear fusion, 10 years away since 1922. Look at this picture from 1922. Is that Elon? Has Elon been behind the scenes of fusion from the beginning? Someone photoshopped this. It was me. Nuclear fusion breakthroughs are coming hot and fast, unlike the girls you talk about it to. China had a breakthrough. Private company Commonwealth had a breakthrough. Jet Laboratory just had a breakthrough. And now Google's DeepMind has been trained to control the plasma inside fusion reactors. So you tell me in the comments, which one's gonna be a reality first, fusion or Cybertruck? Fusion-powered Cybertruck in 2035? Any takers? Fusion needs a hype man like Elon to get people all pumped up about the new tech. Enter Tim Luce, head of operations at Eater Fusion Mega Project. We're not going to solve the problem for the planet next week, next month, next year, not even in the next decade. Crypto.com's debit card and trading platform is far and away my favorite. They have the highest staking percentages, 14% on stable coins. That's crazy. The most cash back of any card, and they give you free Netflix and Spotify and Amazon, depending on your level. I don't have a deal with them. I just love them, and you can make 25 bucks if you use my link. Okay, I'm gonna get to what this Google DeepMind breakthrough is, but first, I think it's worth doing the quickest, dumbest breakdown of Fusion ever done. I think I'm up to it. All right, this is fusion. Totally going off book here. They take, pretty sure it's water, seawater. They heat it up. When they get it hot enough, all the positive charge ions or electrons, or whatever's positively charged, for some reason, just goes, it's gone. Science. Now you're left with, it's a plasma and it's negatively charged. So it responds to magnets. You stick it in this electromagnetic donut, kind of like a Tesla motor. Instead of rotating a tire, it's rotating this negatively charged seawater shit. Get it going so fast, all those particles, they start to uh, collide and they fuse. And then they let off a reaction of a lot more energy. We capture that energy. Bob's your uncle, fusion. So the particles, it gotta be hotter than what happens in the sun because we can't do the pressure here on Earth. So we gotta get it hotter, so hot that there's no material on Earth that can withstand the heat of the plasma. You got this stuff twirling around the loop-de-loop -loop and it's it's uh, unpredictable. It's going here, it's going there, and it's getting too hot on this side, now it's getting too hot over here. And so these magnets are like having to adjust because if it touches the edge, then it's gonna burn the whole thing down. This is where Google's DeepMind AI breakthrough comes into play. Check this out. All right, this is an article from Wired. So it says DeepMind has trained an AI to control nuclear fusion. This is a shot of the inner workings, I guess. I don't know how they get a camera in there. These GoPros are getting amazing. This is the key right here. Finding smart ways to control and confine the plasma is gonna be key to unlocking the potential of nuclear fusion. We need to be able to heat up this matter and hold it together for long enough for us to take energy out of it. Long enough, I mean, indefinitely. This is where deep mind comes in. Don't get it twisted. The conventional systems that are already out there are controlled by computers, but they're based on models and careful simulations. Basically, they're not always calibrated right, and they're not reacting to what's happening inside, and they're not learning. Researchers from two groups caught a deep reinforcement learning system to control the 19 magnetic co coils. It was given different shapes to try and recreate in the plasma, and these included these bad boys. This is a cross section of the donut showing how they manipulate the magnetic fields to change the shape of the plasma. Imagine you, you got to juggle these hot potatoes and they start putting more hot potatoes. And now you're juggling like four, five potatoes and it's, it's starting to fall apart. You're only human. Enter Google Deep Mind robot comes in there and it can juggle like 100 hot potatoes thousand hot potatoes. That's essentially what's happening with Google's DeepMind. It's in there looking at the plasma flow and it's reading all the sensors and the data points and it's finding patterns in a vast amount of data that a human mind just cannot fathom. And so it starts playing the piano of all these magnetic rings and it starts forcing the plasma into the right little ring. Elon Musk recently responded to Steve Jurvinson about these new breakthroughs in fusion. And he said, it's cool for sure, can and should be done, but I suspect its best case will be more costly than wind and solar, AKA big fusion reactor in the sky. If you were to let Elon have the last word on this, you'd be missing a key benefit that fusion gives us. I will let my boy David Friedberg 
explain. As these plasma fusion systems work, we could also use them to make heavier elements, like the rare earth metals that we talk about being so important here on earth to make um, batteries, or phosphorus, uh, which you know we're going to run out of on planet earth in about 100 years, which is a critical component of agriculture and feeding ourselves. The rare earth or the heavier elements that are limited natural resources here on earth where we could turn water into gold or water into lithium or water into molybdenum or you know into beryllium or whatever um, starts to become a reality. I think the 2030s and the 2040s are where this becomes real. You know, the real story here is how many nuclear scientist jobs are just gonna be taken by DeepMind. <laughs> Watch this video to stay up to speed on how fast you're being left behind. Leave your thoughts in the comments, even the weird ones, especially the weird ones. I have algorithmic Stockholm syndrome, so like and share, or take it to the next level and join Patreon and help make high tech lowbrow. And if you want to be a part of the team and write jokes, DM me on Twitter and Discord. Click subscribe or let the AI radicalize you, your choice. See you in the future.